Hello, good afternoon everybody. This video will show you how to make use of the performance chart in ChartNexus to uh, compare the different uh, equities performance okay, within a specific time frame that you choose to compare. Right? Where you get this performance chart? Okay, firstly, it is located under Tools. Right, the very first option over there, performance chart. Or well, once you click on it, okay, this perform performance chart will load, and you come to this uh, search top window and begin to uh, look for the uh, symbol or, or the stock or the index that you want to compare the performance to. Okay, in my video today, I'm going to compare the Street Times Index to the rest of the world indices. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to open uh, STI first, which is the Singapore Street Stamps Index, followed by the S&P 500. Okay, S&P 500, double click, and uh, Hang Seng. Okay, how can I forget Hang Seng? Hang Seng Index, and uh, NASDAQ. Okay, just this uh, few will do. Right, just this four we do, and when you uh, you will notice that there is this uh sorry there is this reference line in the middle of the uh, chart over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it right to the beginning of the year, okay, where the market first started. Okay, you can see that a lot of the index is very bullish. Okay, a lot of index moved during January, and eh, but give me your attention or focus to uh, June. Okay, June. Now in June we see a lot of uh, markets start to turn lower, and of course the blue color one, which is our SDI, was the first to go down. Okay, first to go down together with Hang Seng, right? Hang Seng and uh, SDI is very weak, and then you see this very big divergence by Nasdaq. While most of the markets are heading lower, Nasdaq was still climbing higher in June and before. Uh, that's uh, the, the last week of June. You see that Nasdaq actually collapsed and catching up with the rest of the market going downwards. Okay, if I compare in January, it is not very uh, obvious. But if I pull this reference line all the way to May, okay, to May, and maybe let's go to June. Okay, just go to May. Okay, May, May, May. All right, May. Okay, you can see that uh, from May onwards, uh, when we compare the performance of these four indices, SDI, the blue color one, right, lead all the way down. Okay, all the way down. In fact, the index is now down, okay, 9.6%, and followed by Hang Seng, which is the weakest, and then the S&P 500 and NASDAQ all coming lower now. Okay, so this is how uh, you can use this performance chart to compare the performance of the instrument that uh, you, you would like to compare. And in this example, of course, we are looking at the world indices and it is a very, for Singapore investors, traders, this is a very big warning that uh, the index is leading the way down. <laughs> okay, leading the way down. Now, what if you want to compare bank stocks in Singapore? So I'm going to close all the other indices. Okay, this is the SDI chart. I'm going to move it back to January and I start to throw in some names like DBS, okay, UOB, and OCBC. Ah. Okay, you can compare up to five charts. Okay, now if we compare uh, these banks together with SDI, you can see that uh, clearly DBS is the outperforming here, followed by UOB, followed by OCBC. Okay. Uh, if I click uh, on SDI, right, then it will, you see, if I click on SDI, the SDI index line is has disappeared, okay, which means all the rest of the three banks uh, lines are comparing directly against the SDI, okay, so you can see the outperformance here is again by DBS, which rise 17.6% uh, relative to SDI, and then UOB and OCBC. Okay, so this is how we can use this uh, performance charts if you want to compare different uh, equities or index charts. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you find that it's beneficial, subscribe to our channel and we have got more software tutorials coming up. Thank you.